this is Robert. Hey y'all, this is Robert with Armadillo Outdoors. Ever wonder what steel shot to use when you're duck hunting? Well, we did a comparison of five different brands, from the least expensive to the most expensive. Stay tuned and see what we found. You might be surprised. I know I would. After several years of duck hunting in my little area, I thought I knew how to buy steel shot. After this little comparison, I changed the way I buy steel shot altogether. Why don't you join me and see what I found. I had quite a few different people ask me, Rob, what shell do you use when you're shooting guns? This led me to wonder if I was shooting the right shell. I always shot a number two Super X or a number two Sportsman. I kind of started wondering if the most expensive shell might be the best one. You know the old saying, you get what you pay for. I went out and I bought five boxes of shells. They were all three inch. I bought a Super X number two. I bought a Sportsman number two. I bought a Drylock number two. Then I went and changed up a little bit. I bought a blind side number three and a heavy metal number three. I went out, I did the same thing I always do to pattern my shotgun. I went to the Dollar General store and bought a 99 cent pack of paper plates. I used my range finder. I found 25 to 30 yards. That's where most of my ducks are gonna commit into my spread at their farthest point. I'm shooting an old Mossberg 9200 with an extended range choke. Here's a little clip of me going through the first three sets of shells, the Super X, the Sportsman, and the Drylock. The Super X are about $12. The Sportsman are about $14, and the Dry Locks are about $16. Check it out. first three sets of shells all were number two and they all performed really well. I wouldn't hesitate to take any of these into my duck blind even if I was taking the climb. Next I changed it up a bit. I went to a number three shot for the last two brands. I didn't show the blind side. You've already seen me shoot the plates. You know how it works. What I really want you to notice is how the heavy metals performed and a few things that happened. I found that they didn't want to cycle or eject out of my shotgun. I found that I wasn't the only person having this problem. I talked to several people and they had the same problem. Now it could be that we all had older shotguns. We could, it could be a number of other things, but I know I wasn't the only one experiencing this. The next thing I want you to notice is the heavy recoil of this shell. It has to be hard on the equipment and the hunter. But I also want you to notice that on the good side, this shell hit like a jackhammer. Everything, every time I hit a plate, it just peppered that plate completely from the same distance. Take a look.
I found myself buying either a blind side or a dry lock in a number three. The smaller shot seemed to penetrate the, the heavy feathers of the diver ducks we've been seeing a lot lately, but still had the knockdown to put these bigger ducks on the water like I like. Thanks for stopping by. All criticism is welcome. Please remember that there are ladies and children watching, so keep it clean. Please like and subscribe on your way out. Please remember to shake the hand of a veteran, a police officer, or an emergency worker if you get the chance. Thanks again. I'll see you on the water.